The following segment is sponsored by Intermountain Healthcare and the Utah Department of Health. State data shows that 92% of mothers in Utah initiate breastfeeding, but at six months, only 64% are still breastfeeding. It can be very, very hard, and there are a lot of tears shed, and women feel guilty, and they feel like they're not a good enough mom if they can't breastfeed their baby. The Academy of Pediatrics just updated its recommendations, acknowledging the benefits of breastfeeding beyond one year and even up to two years. For the baby, it's decreased childhood obesity, decreased type 2 diabetes, decreased asthma, decreased respiratory tract infections. For the mom, it's actually more rapid weight loss. It's a decrease in breast cancer. I mean, there's just so many benefits to both the mom and the baby. Katrina Jensen, a registered nurse with Intermountain, says that local health providers can do more to support and encourage moms. The health benefits are so great that it's just kind of crazy sometimes to think that how hard we make this for women to be successful in certain situations. OBGYNs and midwives are encouraged to talk to parents about the benefits of breastfeeding during the second or third trimester and also help them set some realistic expectations. That's just that opening to say for the provider to say, okay, let's talk about that. What were some of your challenges and what are you thinking this time? How can we identify those barriers in advance so that we can overcome them and that you have a good experience and, and so does your baby. One helpful resource, a virtual breastfeeding class. It's a one session, two hour class for $15 and it's available online at intermountainhealthcare.org. I'm Jade Elliott for Baby Your Baby.